Hey Virtual Pilots, welcome to the channel, Simpit Academy. <clears throat> Today we will look at the landing gear panel section. <clears throat> there are five things we're going to build today. One is the, the knob itself for the landing gear and then the panel. We are going to build the light indicator covers with the cutout text over the light indicators. And then we'll build a simple panel for the pitch ratio toggle. And then we'll build covers for the flaps light indicators. So starting with the knob, draw a circle, pad, fillet the sides. And this datum plane thing, we have seen it several times already. You click on the top and you rotate it 90 degrees. You get this, but right in the middle, cutting it through the middle, you move it out. Okay, move it out and so that you can see what you want to draw. Then you draw a circle almost to the edge from side to side. Move it back down. Okay, you'll be protruding out like this. Move back down just inside a bit as shown. Then pat the circle, you'll get this shaft. Okay. And then at the side, create a pair of circles. And this time round, rather than doing it on both sides, you just do a special kind of padding. You do two padding. One is 1mm up, and then the second one, you will go reverse down 16mm such that it will protrude out like this here. Okay. Then you repeat again on the same side another pair of circles to form like a ring and then you reverse pad same thing and you get a bigger ring okay then at the edge of the shaft you have a draw a slot like this three by five and pocket 19 go down so it'll be deep enough for the toggle flat handle which is like 20 mm so most of it will be covered so this is the knob next we look at the landing gear panel itself we have three green light indicators the nose the left and the right you have a smaller one here for a red indicator light The landing gear, when it's moving, it will blink red. Since our knob, this one, it's solid PLA, not transparent. I'm not dissecting it to embed some LED. So this will not be blinking any color. So I shifted the red part to another indicator here. So this one will just flip up and down. When it's in motion, going up or going down, this will blink red. When it is locked in position up or down, when it's down, this will the, the three green lights will light up. When it's locked in the up position, these three green lights will go off. So when this one stops blinking, you know, then this will show or don't show. So we'll see this in demo later. So the panel, you pat again at the top with this shape, okay, 3mm, and you get something like this, and you have a hole. This time you park it all the way through, become like this, and then you add text, and you pat, okay, so this is the finished panel. This one, you have a push button here for the warning tone silence 
at the back you can have locking holes it's optional the toggle is kind of small but since it's landing gear you might be using it quite a bit so if you don't want it to spin have a locking holes have a recess and the end product is this Next, we look at the light covers for the indicators. Have a pair of rectangles and pad. It up, you'll, you'll look like this. Then click on the top and just pad 1mm to cover it and create some text and extrude in the part workbench negative 1 mm as shown here part and you select the body first then select the extrude and click on this icon here and you will cut out the text okay i've seen i've shown this in previous videos and you repeat so for the nose and the left four characters for letters so you can go as big as 5 mm you don't want to go too big you want to avoid the side because the side the light might not get through for the right cover it's one more letter so you have to string the font size a bit so this is the finished one three green lights the button and here is the smaller red this is like the round ones most of them I use like 10 mm so this is 8 mm much smaller but the key thing is to always use the 6 volt which is within the capacity of the Arduino to, to power it without external power adapter required So I started with using this big pull to turn toggle which seems like a good idea for a landing gear. You pull to turn it so you accidentally knock it up or down. However, I quickly realized that having a round toggle it's a bad idea. Just like the emergency jettison button having a knob over it it will spin okay second problem is that being on off DCS doesn't really know your physical switch whether it's up or down position it, it will just when you flip it you will just move it so half the time you're wrong in the wrong position you don't want an off an on off on switch a three-way switch as well because it might just stop in the middle you want it to be up or down only so what you actually need is an on on toggle and that means you need two pins so this is not going to work one pin the default one is a two position there is no three pis position position switch code and this action is also action button code is also for one pin so Luckily, there is a rotary encoder code for this. It has two pins. So even though we are not using uh, an, an encoder, the code still works. Okay, One will always move it up. One will always move it down. So this one works for me. Plus, you need a, you need a vertical slot so that it doesn't spin. Sorry, a horizontal slot and the third problem i had was i may have overturned this too much sometimes or or it just got damaged so sometimes just pulling it before flipping it in dcs it already starts to flip then when i'm done flipping it dcs will flip it back again so again it goes out of sync just like this on off it goes out of sync this one also makes it go out of sync by not flipping or flipping too many times 
so this pulling part doesn't work the on off doesn't work so the on on with this flat handle it's the best solution I found next we look at the pitch ratio switch panel just one switch a toggle and locking holes and the recess as shown for a you use a big toggle all right and you're done this is very simple add some text and pad all right this one is optional it's in this yes i believe it's blank but if you look at real photos they will have a radio call and some numbers which i think it is the tail number of the aircraft so we just have some random numbers and then put it there which is here the radio call uh, panel so this is the code for all the lights three greens one red so the last code i had was 931e which stopped working and then you download the latest dcs bios code again for all the leds they switch to this naming convention convention which we have seen in a few other panels this convention doesn't compile it is missing some arduino libraries i believe so i haven't figured the solution for that so luckily board saved the day again by copying the code for board whenever the light the code for any light indicators don't work the one in board has always been either the latest or at least just the correct one so all the e's have changed to c and it will work and some of the numbers may have changed too so take a look at board and for all light indicators and it should work okay so this is the working code and then now this is the code for all the switches this is for all the the light and these are all the switches i believe in the previous video i forgot to show the code for a resting hook which is here it's very simple just one pin all right so four switches here then for the flaps we use even bigger rectangle light indicators one yellow one green so this one is very easy just a big rectangle padded 1 mm and then have some text and cut out as usual bring down the z by 1 mm and select the body first then select extrude and in part workbench click on this and you will cut out the text okay this one shows that it's not 1 mm above the surface is embedded inside then when you do this first you'll cut out so always select the body first and then the next thing that you select it will when you click on this it will remove from the body don't click on this one first and then the body okay the order has to be correct so when you print out you'll be just like this i know it doesn't look very clean the problem with cut out text is that they have to be very big or else it will not be good and you might have to use a cutter to trim it um, but it covers the light very well there's no light bleed compared to the other method where you don't cut out the text you just emboss the text 1 mm above then you spray everything black then you file away the text the embossed text at the top so that one you can you can accept smaller font size but there's a lot of bleeding the the, the it's not like this very opaque uh it blocks light very well okay so the code for the flaps once again this one has changed i think from 9320 now 
9322 again from board if you use the new latest convention it doesn't compile okay now we see demo of everything all the switches and all the lights <laughs> 